It comes, when it comes down to my mental, she's supposed to bring me peace. Mm -hmm. And she's supposed to be soothing to my mind. And she's supposed to help me think. When it comes to my physical, <laughs> you already know what she's supposed to do. Take care of my body by feeding me the right stuff. Massaging me if I had a long day. Riding me, sucking me, the whole nine yards. <laughs> when it comes to my emotional, she supposed to allow me to be vulnerable because I'm a man mm. and it's tough for a man to be able to be vulnerable. So she's supposed to allow me to be vulnerable without judging me or without using my vulnerability against me or without using my vulnerability to tear me down. Mm. That's really important. And then, why are you pointing at me like that? No, I ain't, I'm oh. just saying that's really important. Okay. That's one of my most important ones. Mm -hmm. My spiritual. Free game. You know what I'm saying? My spiritual, you you gotta you know what I'm saying? Bring you closer to God. Yeah, Pray we gotta we husband. gotta have we, we gotta have our we gotta have our higher power that hold us accountability. Which our is account Jesus. Which is God. Which is Jesus. Which is God. Which is Jesus. Which is God. Okay, amen. So, you know, we gotta we gotta have, be connected spiritually. We gotta pray together. We gotta, you know what I'm saying, all of that. And then financially. How if you if you money? if you're not helping me multiply, let's just say this, if you're not helping me multiply my money, if you're not giving me no money, you should be saving me money. Mm, that's good, that's good. So I made Maddie some lunch, decided to invite her over because we had peeped some comments and people was asking questions and wanted to know what the, what the we want to spill a little tea because people ain't even know what we used to do, how we used to be. We gonna drop some little, you know. We just gonna come on, man. We just finna, we just came to be messy, y'all. <laughs> finna get no, with Maddie, me and Maddie finna be messy. No, she no. trying to act all cute and all that. Man, cut that shit out. This ain't the channel to act like that. Don't come over here on my channel trying to act all cute and reserved and conservative. Like them, my people don't like that. When you come over here acting like that, my people gonna be like, uh, uh we don't like her. Mm -hmm. They want to see you be your natural self. So this is what I did, y'all. I did, I did, did what I did what I cooked for me and Maddie. The bot, well, that's the bot. Hold on, let me flip it over. Let me flip your burger. You never cooked when we was together, and I see why. The barbecue burger. I got the barbecue burger right here for Maddie. Y'all ever had sloppy joe? You ever had sloppy joe? Yeah. That's what that looks like. And some water. Barbecue burger, Cheetos, and water. Yeah. I want those chips that you got. No, 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 no. I don't need to eat Cheetos. Hold on. Let me let them know what these is. Give me these. So these are them little babies. The little baby things. Y'all make sure y'all tap in and go get them whenever y'all at the gas station. Look at your face. That's what? why me and you ain't what? together right now. <laughs> what? That's the Thank same you. reason I broke up with you. Your face. You Thank see you. that face? <laughs> you see that face? <laughs> Listen, you sitting back there with your face hey, twisted. I broke up with you. Yeah, but I, it felt like it felt I like in my head I was already broke up with you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That was the little me. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was just talking shit. That, but that was the so part. So you clocked of out mentally? Did you clock before we actually broke up? Was you already over it? I feel like you was because I feel like that's the reason why I broke up with you because I feel like we just wasn't seeing eye to eye. I would, okay. So this is what it was. I I, I did a little bit clock out mentally. Because I clocked out mentally because honestly and truthfully, I felt like your your mind wasn't in the place where I needed to be. And that's how I felt. No, but let me show you something. I gotta close this microwave. It's really getting on my nerves. I I, I can you pass I, me that, please? I felt like that because I felt like that because I felt like and then you know what? As it, it's probably partially my fault because as a man, I should have put your mind in the place where it's supposed to been at, and I probably didn't do that. Okay. And maybe because I come on, I don't be getting on here doing boyfriend stuff. Go ahead. So that was a little cute. That was a little so cute. Go ahead. I didn't play. I didn't play. Nah, but seriously though, I think that it was partially my fault because I should have put you where I wanted you to be mentally mm -hmm. and I didn't but um thank mm -hmm. you father for this meal I accept you with blessed sanctify allow to be a nourishment for our mind body soul in Jesus name I pray amen amen but why you why 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 
Why you feel like you had to leave me? What made you feel like you had to leave me alone? I feel like well, actually, don't think that bad. Exactly. Don't Um, I feel like he wasn't prioritizing me. And the good part about it is that we started off as friends. And so, like, our breakup was smooth. It wasn't dramatic. It wasn't, like, I feel like at first, maybe, like, I was, like, a little upset. But for the most part, like, we was able to bounce back really fast. But I feel like you... You just was like a better, I, when we were friends, I feel like I saw more of you and there was like a lot more effort. But when you actually finally got me and we were a boyfriend girlfriend, it was kind of like, I was just there. And I do feel like you was like really focused on your like career and everything that you had going on. And like, because we wasn't doing it together, there was like something that was like not clicking. And so I felt like I was put on a back burner a lot and I wasn't getting the attention that I needed as a girlfriend. I could be needy. I could, <laughs> no, could be I, a Could be a the word. I could be needy. You are extremely needy. I don't feel like I'm extremely needy. I feel like, I feel like. All right. You unnecessarily needy. Unnecessarily needy? Yeah, needy? Needy is just needy. I could be needy. I don't feel like I'm OD with it, but I do feel like to an extent, I'm needy and I get a lot of attention. And now, in hindsight, as I've grown, I realized that it was like immature and really just because I wasn't doing doing shit for real. So when you're not doing shit, like you're just like, like I was looking to like consistently be under him and under his skin. And um, that started like arguments and just like- And that's what really made me clock out because I feel like he was draining yeah. I mean, but you didn't have respect for what I already had going on. Exactly. And then it was like, you know what? She don't understand. I feel like you didn't understand. Because I wasn't in that world then. Exactly. Now that I am, it's like, oh, should I get it? And, without me. <laughs> and you still accuse me of a lot of stuff. Every day. Every day you have false accusations. So you never cheated on me? What you mean? Did you ever cheat on me? When we were together? Mm -hmm. I didn't cheat on you because let me tell you how. Once I clocked out mentally, I was single. That's cheating because at the end of the day, the mature thing to do, Ruben, is for you to communicate. I did. That you're no. How many you, times I hung up and you hung it. up on me and I hung up we on you? We got into it, yes. But I'm Remember saying, that time you called me 40 times and I blocked you? And at that you, time, I was broke up. And then you unblocked me. But the time when you was blocked, we was broke up. So it wasn't cheating. And you look like you want to put your hands on me for that. It's really the past, so it's like it is what it is. But at least you admitted it. I'm glad that you admitted it because you cheated on me. But let me show you something. I give you this. Because you never admitted it before until now. This is my being first time not hearing in the this. World, this is my first time hearing this. Being out in the world, it did make me realize that the way that you cared for me. I did miss that because being out here in the world and not having a girl to like really nurture you the way you was nurturing outside your annoyingness, it was really a nurturer and it was really caring. And those good qualities I did miss. I missed the caring part, the nurturing part, the sweet side of you. I did miss that wholeheartedly. Yeah. I feel like, I mean, as friends, you kind of still gave me that. But, like, Ruben always is, like, pouring into me and, like, inspiring me. And I feel like I always got that from him when we were in a relationship. And I feel like that's that was one of the things that, like, even, like, enabled us into, to, uh, for us to, like, move into friendship the way we did. Like, so effortlessly. Like, nobody literally, nobody really even knew we really dated besides, like, our close people. Yeah, because 
the thing about us, we never, we wasn't like no public thing. <clears throat> I didn't want to be. I never wanted to be like in a public relationship, <clears throat> like at all. We were low key. Especially because of everything that comes with it. So that's why we was low key, and that's why no one knew that this was my boyfriend. Ouch, man. That's not, it's like you kind of get back at me from saying that cheating stuff. Yeah. So. So wait, you had sex with somebody else? Uh uh, man, we ain't on that. Ruben. Listen, we're not on that. <clears throat> we're giving the people. I know, but okay, sh scratch this part. You had no. sex with somebody, you could take it out. You had no. sex with somebody else? <laughs> no. What do we know? I did not. You kissed you, somebody else? No. So you were just talking to somebody else? No. How did you cheat on me? I was just playing. I'm just, I was just saying something. So did you or did you not cheat on me? I did not. And we're not together, so you can never talk about that. What are you talking about? It's over. We don't gotta talk about that because we're not together. But when we was together, you said that he said he cheated on me, did he not? You act like you're trying to keep back with me. I'm not. Okay then, so why you wanna know? I just wanted to know. And I told you no. So how many times you gonna ask me again if I already done told you no? I did not and I will not. And you will not cheat on me, so you want to get back together because we're not getting back together. No, I don't want to get back together because at the end of the day, the level of <clears throat> for me, you toxic. Wait, so I went from being nurturing and caring and all these things to toxic. You got two sides. You got the I'm great. You got you got good side about you. Then you got the throw it off side. When that Dominican come up out of you and you go to trip or not. But just like I said in that video, that podcast, I only tripped out because of the energy that you brought into the relationship. Did I start off like that? I started off peaceful. I started off nurturing. I literally did. I didn't clean, bring. I didn't clean, bring. Yeah, but, but I didn't. Suck. I didn't bring I all of the above. Yeah, I made sure that you felt good as a man. I treated you like a king. But when you start, there's things that a woman needs, and there are needs that have has to be met. And if they're not met, and you're outside, and I see you doing this, and I see you doing that, and keep in mind, that's accountability. We just talked about it. I didn't really understand your lifestyle. I didn't really understand your career. I didn't really understand the things that you had to do because you had to do. You also did a poor job at communicating these things and setting the so tone as a man. I, I, I can't you never communicate. Let me stop you. That was another thing. He never communicated. I can't communicate you, with somebody that don't listen. I'm communicating. Are you crazy? You only listen to what you want to hear. That's not true. Oh, my God. You never communicated. I would literally find things out about this man's life, my person, my partner. I will find things out on the internet. I'm sitting here chilling, minding my business. Wait, what? How, how, how is the internet telling me what, where my boyfriend is at before my boyfriend is telling me where he at? That doesn't make sense. So I never even got, you never even gave me a fair chance to show you that I know how to listen. Ever. Because I was, why are you looking at the camera like that? I'm looking at you. I'm right here. I'm looking at you right here. You, 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 you can look at you and you can see the craziness in you. I did you not tell, you can see you throw. Look at you, you look a little bit throw. <laughs> like yeah, you a sweet girl. Yeah, you are. You all that. You sweet. You generous. You loving. You caring. But you also are thrown. For sure, I never said I wasn't. But what I'm saying is, is that the quote unquote chaos and the toxicity that you're saying that I brought into our relationship, I brought because uh. I brought because. Why are you looking like you get like you get beat or something? No, I'm not looking like that. I brought because of you. I accept accountability. I take a, I take accountability for the things that I take accountability for. And I'm I not even trying to put it all on you. And I accept accountability for like the I things said, I Because like I said, I feel like there was a lot of good that came from our relationship, which is why, again, like, we're here right now. Because, because anybody else is like... So this is therapy. So if you could have got... If you could get back with me, would you get back with me? Truth, be real. If I gave you a chance to say, I'll take you back. If with you. you gave me a chance. No, because you, you get to ask me also. Who do you think you are? You get, you to, ask you, you 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 get you to ask me also. I'm asking and then you can ask. So I'm saying it from a place where if I allow you to be my woman again, would you be my woman? 
how about you say if I wanted you to be my woman again? Because a lot of sounds okay, like my I was bad. a dog or a All right, No, because you could have said the same way to me. I would never talk to you like that, but I'm proven. <laughs> 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 Wait, okay, if I wanted to be back with you, would you be back with me? Um, I feel like so much has transpired, and I'm not really big on like doubling back for real, but if I were to like observe you a little closer again we've been friends and i like we talk all the time he has helped me through like some really crazy seasons of my life since our breakup like 10 out of 10 um but if i was to observe you a little more closely i would have to <laughs> hold on i would have to see like how now that i'm here and i'm in this space in my career and what i'm doing and what i got going on and that you're here i would have to see how that can like Come together. We, yeah, like how can we come together? Like I would have to see that before I could say yes or no. And if I feel like it could come together and it could be smooth sailing, I would because at the end of the day you have a really good heart. And like there's not a lot of men like you and you know I love you. So um And I I love you too. Now, at the same time, if if it was if if if, if you asked me that question, would I take you back and be back in a relationship with you if you wanted me? I would say I would say like I would be willing to make it I would I would I would be willing to see what it do but I would need like we would it would it wouldn't have it wouldn't be something that happened overnight. Yeah, we'll have exactly. to we'll have to work it we'll have to work into that. Like we'll Damn. have to be cool. You want mine? No. Are you hungry? I just, uh, Ever since we broke up, I feel like he doesn't even eat like that. No, honestly. I be Uber eating. Like he be Uber eating. Like I. Uh, no, but 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 like we'll have to work on that. But I don't think that that's the objective right now. I think right now it's just vibing, creating, working, building, kicking it. Being friends is a, is a great place. In general, do you feel like you're ready for a relationship right now? Like not me, like just in general. Yeah. Why do you feel like you're ready for a relationship? Because I've, 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 <clears throat> I've had, I, like, I'm tired, this is how I look, I'm tired. Tired? I'm tired, like, I'm tired of, you know? Fucking around, messing yeah. with multiple bitches, spending on multiple bitches. If that's how you want to put it. No, I'm just, I'm literally just asking. Just yeah. Asking. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm tired. I just would rather build and continue to get to know the same person over and over Are you again. dating anyone else right now? The people want to know. Am I dating someone right now? Mm -hmm. No. No, I'm not dating no one. So you're talking to no one? Right now, I'm not dating no one. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just vibing right now. Right now, I'm just focusing on myself. If you're dating him on a low, go ahead and just DM me and let me know. Not, not for nothing. I just want to know. No, I'm just, I'm just focusing on, I'm just focusing on me right now. I think that that's what I need to focus on. I need to focus on me, and I feel like make up your mind, Ruben. No, no, I, I said, I, I, of course, I said I want to date, but I want to be in a relationship. But I say right now, I'm just focusing on me until the right person comes along. Cliche. Are you dating someone right now? I know you was dating that fat light skinned dude who paid for your birthday. Nobody was dating no fat light skinned dude. That fat light skinned dude that paid for your birthday dinner. Nobody actually. My birthday dinner was a mess. You should have came. I couldn't. I, was, I left. I know. It was actually really ghetto. Mm. Like, like so ghetto. But. Am I dating anyone right now? Um, not for real. Like, I'm talking to people. It's recreational for you. I think that because I because of my last relationship, I've just been in like this like space of like 
also wanting to focus on me also wanting to grow and just like self heal and just like I feel like a relationship right at this very second could set me back but I think I also have like my guards up and my and walls up and maybe like in an unhealthy way where I like I'm afraid to let somebody in again in that way so the I'm problem is you need to let you need to let somebody come beat them walls down Just cut the camera, bro. Somebody need to be beating them, <laughs> beating them walls down, and you wouldn't feel like that. Because if the right person was beating them walls down, you. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, after my last relationship, you came and beat the walls down, and I still feel this way. All right, so listen. This is what I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna I feel like I just want to give you some advice on dating, because this is the same thing advice I'm taking. Mm -hmm. And this is advice for everybody at home. Make dating recreational. Because if a person don't come in your life and be your top five. Yeah. Huh? If a person don't come in your life and be your top five. If they can't stimulate your top five. Okay, got you. To, uh, uh, to the maximum of potential. To the maximum potential. Your top five is your mental, your spiritual, your physical, your emotional, and your financial. Mm -hmm. So if a person don't come in and strengthen, Enhance. strengthen and enhance your top five, leave them as recreational. And recreational means that there is non-exclusive. You're not exclusively dating them. You're not exclusively talking to them, courting them. It's nothing exclusive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I, I learned. I learned that like right now I'm not I'm not I'm not treating nobody I'm not exclusively doing nothing with nobody unless you know my top five because, because even as a man like I feel like even as a man a woman got to hit my top five mm -hmm. you feel me because it's like we act like a woman don't supposed to provide for us mm -hmm. we act like we only supposed to provide for a woman but when it comes down to my mental, if a woman, a woman, a woman is created to be your helpmate, so she is. Yeah, if it comes when it comes down to my mental, she's supposed to bring me peace, mm -hmm. and she's supposed to be soothing to my mind, and she's supposed to help me think. When it comes to my physical, <laughs> you already know what she's supposed to do: take care of my body by feeding me the right stuff, massaging me if I had a long day, riding me, sucking me, the whole nine yards. <laughs> When it comes to my emotional, she supposed to allow me to be vulnerable because I'm a man mm. and it's tough for a man to be able to be vulnerable. So she's supposed to allow me to be vulnerable without judging me or without using my vulnerability against me or without using my vulnerability to tear me down. Mm. That's really important. And then... Why are you pointing at me like that? No, I ain't, I'm oh. just saying that's really important. Okay. That's one of my most important ones. Mm -hmm. My spiritual... Free game. You know what I'm saying? My spiritual, you you gotta you know what I'm saying? Bring you closer to God. Yeah, Bring we gotta we gotta have we, we gotta have our we gotta have our higher power that hold us accountability. Which our is account Jesus. Which is God. Which is Jesus. Which is God. Which is Jesus. Which is God. Okay, amen. So, you know, we gotta we gotta have, be connected spiritually. We gotta pray together. We gotta, you know what I'm saying, all of that. And then financially. How if you if you if you're not Helping me multiply. Let's just say this: If you're not helping me multiply my money, if you're not giving me no money, you should be saving me money. Mm, that's good. That's good. Oh, you ate this one. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, because this is a whole like word. Because <laughs> yeah, no, it's the truth. Because women don't. Yeah. It's like okay, you ain't gotta that's bring. So you ain't gotta bring no money to the table. You ain't gotta take care of me. You ain't gotta give me no money. But at least know or, how to manage or, or, my finances. Or, 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 or you don't gotta have a, a way for me to triple, quadruple my money. I, I respect that. Cause you might be trying to. You might be trying to. Come on now. Come on now. Now I'm why is you doing? Don't you act might be like we don't act like this. <laughs> we just friends, y'all. But we act like this. So no, but you might be trying to. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of women don't. Hey, stop it. Stop that. We don't now nah, we don't do that. We don't be doing that. So a lot of women wait, wait, cause let me okay. make my last point. Because a lot of women ain't 
saving niggas no money. Yeah. They spending up all your money. So if you got a woman that's just trying to run your pockets and she's not being mindful of what she see, if she see you spending trying to impress her or make her happy, if she's already happy without what you're doing financially, she should be like, babe, put a halt to that. You ain't got to buy me no more bags. You ain't got to spend no more money. Like, babe, save your money. Invest in something else. Mm -hmm. Do this and do that because I'm good. I'm good with just you. Yeah. We just went on a trip last month. Like, we can go on another trip next month. Mm -hmm. You just bought me this. Like, you don't got to buy me nothing right now. Like, triple double your money. I know you want to do this. I know you want to do that. Shit, I want to do this and do that. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, don't go buy that $5,000 bag. Buy me $5,000 worth of um products so I can flip the $5,000. Mm -hmm. So... You know what I'm saying? If 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 she can't, if she if she don't hit that top five, she is not mine. If he don't hit that top five, he is not yours. He is not mine. If like they don't that. if they don't hit that top five, it's recreational. I like the word recreational. Recre and recreational is non-exclusive. And it's not that deep. And I feel like it's not that deep. And you like should you not get in your feelings over a recreational relationship. <laughs> yes, a double law. You should not get in your feelings over a recreational relationship. Straight up and down. Yeah, I agree. So, there we go, y'all. Dating should be, like, about learning yourself, too. Like, I feel like when people go into dating and they automatically think marriage, 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 it's, like, all this extra pressure that's not needed. Like, I feel like you shouldn't look at the person that you're dating and, like, automatically, like, treat them as, a, as if they're your property. Even when you guys become exclusive. It shouldn't be, like, I possess you, you possess me. Well, when me. did you learn this? I learned. See, you don't When know. did you learn this? I because this is new to me, what you this. said. I learned this. Because you show enough. I learned this. You show enough know how to make a person your property. Look at, oh, look at her. You can see it. Look at the insaneness. Why you never got my name at All right. The video over here. Hey, y'all. Yes, it is. There it is, y'all. Why you never got my name at it? Y'all want to know. all these tattoos. Y'all want to know what's good with me and my ex. We just gave it to y'all. Maddie. AKA Madeline. Um, Please tell my real name. AKA, y'all make sure y'all follow her on um, all social media platforms Instagram. She always on TikTok. TikTok. I'm on TikTok Live every day. And they love me on there. They're always asking about you. All right, Sean. Peace out. Bye, y'all. <laughs>